Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka. hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a kind of more manual way, not the full manual way, on how to convert your models from VRM format into PMX, a more simple but also a bit more accurate way when it comes to conversion. Now, do keep in mind, uh, if by any chance you do not want to do the Unity method uh, and you want an even more simplified version of converting your VRM model into PMX, there are some programs, which there are two of them. One is more void specific, more specific to void uh, stable, while the other one is kind of less void specific, um, but it still works for any of your mall, even from scratch models. So you can check it out. It's in the description if you need a more simplified way of doing it. Um, do keep in mind if you use the program version, you might run into some issues. Uh, depending, I'm pretty sure the Void Stable program, um, the program for VRM to PMX, I think that one's a bit more, uh, it works really well. I can't determine. You'll have to experiment that on your own risk. Um, but you can use those programs if you want a simplify way. But I'm going to be showing you guys the Unity way. We're not going to go into the Blender method. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going over the Unity method for VRM to PMX. So what you'll need is you'll need uh, version 2019.4.31. You can use Unity 2018 or 2019 because um, for this add-on, it kind of works for uh, kind of with those versions. Not sure about 2020, but it should work though. Uh, but just stick with 2019.4.31 just to you know make sure you don't run into any issues make sure you're using specifically uni vrm 0.58 from what i've experimented 0.66 and 0.89 or higher um they have some issues with the pmx add-on for some reason uh so best to stay with 0.58 which i have a direct link uh in the description for a direct download for it and once you have the uni vrm uh add-on once again, there is the PMX add-on for Unity, not the programs I was mentioning earlier, but the actual Unity um, add-on, the Unity package for it that you also need to get. Those two, that's literally all you just need. And I'm going to show you simply how to export. So have your model here, you have to create a folder, um, and then you basically create a folder by right-clicking, create, and you know create a folder and then you'll have to you know click and drag your vrm file once you added the uni vrm add-on first and the pmx add-on first um and then you do the avatar importing last so what you'll then do you'll have to select your avatar you'll have to click um so in your avatar folder you have to click and drag to add your model into the hierarchy we call this left side the hierarchy select your avatar right here and then go to the right side where you see your vrm metadata scroll all the way down to add component pmx exporter and you'll have all these things here now you can mess around with these typically um i don't really auto copy the texture but i'm gonna assume you may need that so default settings are pretty much good to go so all you really have to do is just click on these tiny 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 three buttons right here on the top right and then basically on the bottom part it'll say export click on export name your model test uh pmx or whatever your character's name is uh and then you would click on save and then you will give it probably a couple seconds to a couple minutes it will take some time and then uh, pretty much uh, for me, it's still kind of processing, but yeah, pretty much once the once it's finished processing, that's how you get a PMX file. It'll look really well, you know, it'll work pretty well. So that's pretty much how you do it. It's very simple. Um, if you by any chance run into any issue like shader issues, you might want to check your model again. You might want to experiment a little bit, play around with PMX editor. I do have a bit of a guide on how to kind of like get familiar with PMX editor. Please keep in mind that this guide that is in the link in the description also, um, it's not a guide on how to fix every issue on PMX, but it is a good guide on how to navigate through PMX. So check it out as well. So as you see here, the VRM file has uh, converted to PMX file successfully. So now this can be used when uh, when it comes to MMD animations. You can see that there's a rigid body, the joint, so there's our physics. There are a bit jittery, so you might want to go into the rigid body tab and edit uh, the settings and experiment. I do have a tutorial regarding smooth physics if you want to check that out. There's also the joints you might also want to edit as well. Uh, body groups you might want to edit. You might want to change the name of the blend shapes here or what we call more 
dwarfs in a PMX editor. You might also want to adjust the bones as well. Uh, a little heads up, uh, a bit of an extra advice. Um, you will definitely need the semi-standard bone plugin, which um, it should be already in the English version of PMX Editor. I have a link in the description on a guide to PMX Editor so you can kind of get like a start on how each button works for PMX Editor. Keep in mind that that other tutorial I'm mentioning is not a guide on how to fix everything, but just a UI guide on how things work. So you can go to Edit, Preferences, User, and then go to Semi-Standard Bone Plugin, and then Semi-Standard PMX, and then you would just hit OK. I've already done that for this model. As you can see, there's twist bones and all that, so this model can work work when it comes to you know MMD motions um, but there's a lot that needs to be tweaked though but pretty much you at least have them all that works properly when it comes to MMD and yeah uh, that's really all I have to say if there's any other issues please comment down and uh, ask your questions you can also DM me on discord at kind of who you go hashtag 7158 and um, that's pretty much all I have to say have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time bye